Hey you. Hey you. Salute A up and what the business is. Mining in Star Citizens has changed from 3.12 and beyond. The time it takes to max out your credits has increased dramatically. But you've now got options. You can go for the quick money and just sell raw materials to refineries, or you can wait for them to refine it so you can sell it elsewhere for a bigger profit. If you've seen my tutorials, then you know I'm about that cash, them credellinis, that gold press latinum. But what's all this refinery business? Lean back, kick your feet up, and let's make this real easy. Like up, sub up, and ring up like a boss. You're gonna learn today. So this walkthrough is for refining only. If you're putting the saddlebags before the prospector and haven't learned how to mine yet, check out the mining tutorial link in the card on the upper right. For this refining tutorial, I'll be referencing charts from Sarlacc, Benjamin Dannenberg, and one that was sent to me and I have no idea who made it, so shout out to you, unknown citizen. The first thing you want to figure out is where to take your raw materials, and that depends on what you're carrying. Different refineries specialize in different materials, giving you a buff or a nerf in how much is yielded after refining. Just choosing the closest one could mean losing a chunk of what you mined right out of the gate, and we don't work for free, Larry David. So if you've done what we'll call mixed mining, meaning you got a little bit of everything going on, you want to take a look at what your most valuable materials in your cargo are and how much you have of it. If you've got Quantanium on board and a clock is ticking, then just take it to the nearest refinery before you blow up. After Quantanium, the most valuable materials are Bex TBLA, Bexalite, Terranite, Boras, Laranite, and Agrisium, in that order. Getting the most credits for your most expensive material is ideal, but if you got two or three times more of a lesser but still valuable material, you want to choose your refinery based on that. In this example, I got 2.4 SCU of Bexalite, which is the most valuable material I'm carrying, but I got 24 SCU of Laranite, which is also very valuable, and since I got a lot more of it, it's going to net me the most credits. With that in mind, I'm going to look for a refinery that'll give me the highest yield for Laranite. That'll be either her L1 or Arc L1. But here, I'm carrying almost 7 SCU of Laranite and only a little over 4 of Bexalite. Bexalite is worth 800 credits more per SCU than Laranite, so why choose a refinery that specializes in Bexalite, which would be Mike L1 or Crew L1. Preferably Crew L1 since you take a hit on Laranite at Mike L1. So now you've chosen the best refinery for your cargo. Head inside, take the elevator down to the refinery, play the floor as lava game and make your way up to refinement processing where some folks happen to be observing COVID protocol. During the refining process, it's never gonna be one-to-one. -one. You drop off 10 units and get back 10 units once it's refined. Some of it gets destroyed, or lost, maybe they're skimming off the top. It is what it is and you can't avoid it. So you gotta decide what kind of losses you can stomach. The material specializations list will show you all the refinable materials that you're either gonna lose or gain a percentage of during the refinery process. These percentages and materials are different for each refinery. Below that is what capacity the refinery is currently operating at based on how many work orders they're processing for you and other players. This affects you personally because the more over capacity they're operating at, the higher the cost will be to refine your cargo. Below the capacity section is where you begin. Click the drop down menu, select your mole or prospector, and you'll see a chart showing what's in your cargo. Click set up work order and the window will pop up where you'll customize your order. The section at the top is how many units of materials you have in your ship and how many will be refined. This number will change when you choose which materials are gonna be refined. You're gonna wanna refine everything and I'll tell you why when we get there. The next section down is where you choose one of the five refining methods. I used to tell clients there's fast, there's inexpensive and there's high quality, choose two. The refinement methods are pretty much the same concept. If you want them to refine it quick and cheap, you're gonna sacrifice quality, meaning the yield won't be that great because a decent amount of your materials will be lost during the process. But if you just need some quick cash and you're not worried about maximizing your profit, then the Cormac method is what you're looking for. Low yield, but medium expense, and your order is completed within an hour or so, depending on how much cargo you have. But you're gonna lose 33% of your materials with this method. If you're not in a rush and you do want to maximize your earnings, then Dynex Solventation is your method of choice. High yield, low expense, 
but very, very slow. You only lose 5% of your materials with this refining method. This is good when you want to spend at least a few days mining and then cash out all at once for a big payout. If you mine and refine till you can fill up a caterpillar with value of a product, you'll be backstroking through millions of credits. If you want a high yield and you want it fairly quick and damn the cost, then pyrometric chromalysis is the way to go. It'll get you the same yield as the previous choice, dynamic solventation, but it's just going to be more expensive. The other two methods, electrostorolysis and Gaskin, are the median choices. Gaskin is the quicker of the two, so it costs a little more, but with either of these methods, you lose close to 20% of your materials. FYI, the percentages listed in this chart are in addition to the positive or negative percentages in the list on the upper left. So this is why the first step is to choose your refinery based on what you've mined. All right, all right, all right. You've chosen your refining method. In the section below, you'll see all your materials, the quantity of each, and then the expected yield after processing. Here's where you choose which materials you want to refine. In 3.12, it's real easy. Choose them all. As of this build, if you don't refine all the materials at once, you lose the ones you don't choose with no chance to recover them. I imagine that'll change in the future, so if you're watching this in the future, well, shout out to you for watching, man. Go ahead and drop a comment, Buck Rogers. After you've selected your materials, click Get Quote and you'll see the expected yields populate. Inert materials aren't refinable, so you just lose those. I've heard that they make the cost of refining more expensive, but I haven't verified that. Either way, it's another incentive to mine as little of it as possible. You'll also be presented with the total cost to refine, as well as the time it'll take to complete the order. This is your opportunity to flip through the other refining methods to accurately see what their cost, time, and yields will be. It's not a good look to lose this many materials unless you're strapped for cash and you need it ASAP Rocky. So since we got dough and we're going to be mining for a few days anyway, we're going to go with the Dynex Solventation. Then on the last day of mining, use Pyrometric Chromalysis for a fast process, the same yield but at a higher cost. Congratulations! At this point, your work order is customized and now all you got to do is click Confirm. Once you do, you can leave the kiosk and go on about your business. If you log back into the kiosk, the welcome screen will show you how many completed orders you have waiting and how many you have that are still being processed. On the next screen, you can watch in real time as your materials are processed and the time remaining. You can go mine up more materials or since you spent the money on Star Citizen, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Wherever you happen to go, you'll get a notification when your work order is complete and ready for pickup. And here's where it's decision time for folks with either no other ship or just a fighter or something that don't carry much. If you don't have a ship that can carry anything, your only other option is just rent a ship for the day. That's going to cut into your profit, but you can raise the funds for a freelancer in less than an hour of doing missions. And that'll burn up some time while you're waiting for your work order to complete. If you got a smaller ship like an Avenger Titan, then you don't have to spend money on a rental. But when you're mining, you better not vacuum up more than eight SCU or however much your other ship can hold. Quick runs back and forth. It just seems easiest to go do a few missions and rent a freelancer or even a constellation for a day for 70 grand. It holds 96 SCU and if you mine till you can fill it up, it'll be more than worth it. Whatever your options are, once your work orders are complete, head to the refinery where they're waiting and back to the kiosk. Log in, look at your order or orders and click select storage options. Choose the ship that you want to haul it in and I say I say you're good to go Foghorn Leghorn. From here you can hop in your ship and head to either the Central Business District in Lorville, Trade and Development Division in New Babbage or TDD in Area 18. Log into the commodity kiosk, so your wares like some RPG merchant in a robe and then pay somebody's way through college, Charlie Sheen. Now you know everything you need to know about refining. It's a dope gameplay loop that'll be even better when the cargo decks actually come online, along with being able to buy and sell with other players. I'm looking forward to seeing how it evolves, especially with ships that have refineries on board, like the Orion. Will we have the opportunity to actually take part in refining? I hope so. Anyway, before I dip, let me hit you with a few tips to keep your powder dry whatever that means. Number one, write down the refineries you have work orders at. No sense flying all over the place looking for your valuables. Number two, if possible, try to use the same refinery or at least refineries near each other. 
You never know when a 30K will hit and you don't want to be flying all over Stanton collecting from different places. Number three, if you're gonna use the Cormac method, you might want to consider just selling directly to the refinery. The refinery only pays half as much as the trade centers, but a 33% loss on materials, plus the cost of refining, plus the time it takes, may not be worth it. You just might be better off running back and forth from mining to selling like we did before the refineries. Number four. Hopefully this is a temporary thing, but the unprocessed inert material sometimes stays in your ship. If that happens, you can either mine a nearby asteroid in the Lagrange point, then sell whatever you pick up to the refinery, or blow your ship up and reclaim it. Make sure you unequip any consumables first. Number five. Store your ship. B****s out there destroying folks ship on the landing pad is a thing, so no sense rolling the dice on that. If you need some more looks at the chart I use, you can find it in the description. Big 2021 boss love to the 15, count on, ah, 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 15 Wiseman, AKA executive producers. Big thanks for keeping the lights on over here, yo. Big beard of Odin, safety speeder, Gino Garon. Hold on from tar boy to star boy. Mystery of the universe, Mike Alvira. The hardest streamer on the planet, saucy one, sauce god. Slick Dick Dansley, the most porno name ever. <laughs> Commander Blackout, AKA Astronomer on Wheels, Shadow Man, Shotten King, Phantasm, the Digital Game Hoarder, Wine on Demand Guru, JP Stravinsky, Sweet Jumps, AKA You Got Like Three Feet of Air That Time, Eyes Open 2018, AKA Ojos Abiertos, Momo of the Bad Token Race Club, John Arcadian, Welcome Back to the Verse, man, Jules, AKA Run the Jewels, Boss. Big 7-Up salute and shout out to all the fans supporting the Dig That and Space Sim Marts. Salute to the mother, Buster Boy, Guillotine Girl, SM, Generalissimo, Commander Dr. Digital, Space Pirate McMorrigan, The Treasurer, Zayla Maru, Commander Leviathan, Soul, Time Out Foe, Twin Twin Twin, Train Man Rob, Dead Eyed Ao, Buster Psycho, Fickman, Evil Weasel, Titan Prime, Crash Test, Zed, Mito, Cool Breeze, AKA Search and Rescue Leader, Captain Rico, The Fleet Commander, Commander Cool, Cool? Cool. <laughs> Big thanks, fam Beanos. My name is Dig That, and I can't wait to see you coming to America too. Fly dirty citizens.